Greetings people of YouTube, Duck and Creepers here, and welcome to Icy, which is basically a game about an anime girl fighting giant robots. That's about the best description I can give it. So, um, I have actually beaten this entire game, like, 100%, maxed my character, but I kind of wanted to do something with it on the channel, so I figured I'd do a video of me killing all the bosses, so that's what this is. Courtney's also here doing homework in the background because she's Courtney. Hello. So, hello. Hello. How was that intro? Was it okay? No. Courtney doesn't like me. Super awkward. Okay, you know what? You're one to talk. Have you heard of your intros ever? No, I try not to listen to myself. That's, that's a good idea. You got like a nice filter. Try doing a non-awkward intro. Even, like, the pro YouTubers have awkward intros. Like, they'll be like, and this is this game, and this is what it's about, so let's play it now. Cringe. Fucking... All the cringe. You're one to talk. I am all cringe. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fridays on this channel. You guys can't tell, but I want to slap him. She... She's oh, she abused me. I'll tell you the story during the no! next boss fight. Boss two story time. No. Wow. <laughs> 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 so yesterday I threw a pillow at Courtney while she was doing homework. And then I let her hit me with one, as she full tilt throws it at my face. Okay, but this is what I always do. I always just wail it at his face. But and like... It's not a new thing. I didn't full tilt wail it at your face. Well, I always do to you. Okay. Well, she gave me a nosebleed. And I got blood on my I pants and on my notebook. I feel so me bad. Too. So that was fun. I figured y'all y'all should hear that story. No. That's that's her that's her punishment. Oh. Oh. Courtney abuses me. Send help. No, it's not real. <laughs> no one actually send help. <laughs> if I'm suddenly dead, you know why. I was framed. No, you weren't. <laughs> It was my sister. Okay, yeah, it was probably her sister. Hashtag blame Taylor. <laughs> I know I said Courtney was doing homework, but actually all she's been doing is looking at pictures of puppies. Oh my god. Please, in the comments, someone tell me who watched the Puppy Bowl. This is necessary knowledge I need to know. Which one are you looking at? She's got a picture of a dog from the Puppy Bowl. His name is Alexander Hamilpuff. Oh, it was Hamilpuff, okay. But that's not the one I'm looking for, that's just the one it's stuck on. Oh. I don't remember the one's name, I'm trying to find it. There's a Husky and a Golden Retriever and a Samoyed Mix and I want him. Courtney wants most animals, huh. don't let her fool you. It's not just like specific to that one. But like, this one's so much more than other ones. I'm gonna look up its name on my phone. Cause my computer's dumb. Dum dum. Maybe by the next boss she'll figure it out. No, I'll, I'll figure it out in like a minute. The, these fights are pretty anticlimactic. They get more interesting later in the game. Oh, yeah. By the way, since y'all are gonna miss most of this because of the way I'm doing this video, the narrator of this game is a sassy Chinese man and he he's great. He gets really mad at me for not doing what he tells me. His name was Blitz. There you go, she figured it out. Dumbest boss name ever. Best boss <laughs> name ever? It's Carlos. This crazy fucking robot is named Carlos. I wanna fight a Carlos. You would die. Probably. But then I could say that Carlos killed me. 
And why is that good? It's funny. <laughs> Courtney's weird. <laughs> Hit Carlos. Kill him. Get him. Poor Carlos. Like, I get that they were supposed to be, like, former people and all, and that's, like, hidden lore of this game for those who played it, but, like, couldn't come up with a better name than Carlos. No, like, Carlos. Come on. Got him. Poor Carlos. Rest Car in peace, friend. Carlos got fucked up. No. Just so y'all know, this is normal difficulty, but my character is literally as strong as she can ever get. These fights are harder the first time you do them. Jack. With his fabulous high heels. And being unusually humanoid compared to the rest of the bosses of this game. Oh god, stop his after right now. It's, it's pretty, pretty strange, not gonna lie. Dead. So this guy probably gave me more trouble than any other boss in the game the first time I fought him. Like, I died so many times to those stupid bullet barrages. This guy is actually technically a bonus boss, because the narrator will never take you here. So if you want to beat the game in the most straightforward passion, you're never even gonna be in the area of the game that this guy's in. And he is a pain in the ass, even when level max. Because nothing else shows up, so you have no healing during his fight. He hits like a truck, especially when you don't have very high shield. But at least he looks fabulous. 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 Also, I may end up speedrunning this game at some point, possibly. That'd be the only other thing I'd do with the video for it, because it's short and I like it. And I've gotten to a point where I can beat it in like under 20 minutes, so could ostensibly do videos of that. If people would like to see that, let me know, I guess. Because I really, really like this game. It's pretty, the combat's really fun, like... 10 out of 10. And now, now the game's gonna freak out, right? We gotta have error. And I gotta get a stupid cutscene ending before I can do anything. Woo! Bonus round, double Thor without an animation, because the two Thors don't get an animation for some reason. So fighting one of these does, but, you know. Thor and Gorger kind of become like regular enemies later in the game, the first two bosses. Because they're enough of pushovers compared to everything else by that point. It's all pain in the ass though. Yeah, get him. Go. No. Where's Mark when you need him? And off with his head. And... Off with your head. Lit. What does the slope in question one represent? Dude, I don't fucking know. Someone tell Courtney what the slope in question one represents. Yes, please. I need help. Courtney died. This motherfucker has death lasers. It's weird, the first time I fought him, I killed him in the first try. Every subsequent time, I've died. Actually, that's not true. I think there was one other time I got him in one try, but... He, he's... those lasers are bullshit, because they trap you, and break your shield, and it's not good. See, like, this shit! That shit! Look at how much health I just lost. Look at that! What is that? That's garbage. You're garbage. Idion is garbage. I'm losing him. 
don't want to die. I'm gonna die. No. I die. Wow. See, Idion's trash. This is where I'd lose time in a speedrun. Idion and Judas fuck me up. And possibly Dahal, depending on if the Trinity skip or actually fighting Dahal would be faster, but... I don't actually know what the answer to that would be. If I could kill Dahal in one try, it would be faster, but if I couldn't, then the Trinity skip would be faster. And that'll make sense in a minute. What's the matter, Harris? They already announced it? So if y'all can hear him in the background, that's Harris. He's appeared a couple of times, also known as George, whenever Mark is around. Are you triggered, Harris? I mean, George. Oh. He's been called worse. There you have it, folks. Bye, George. Dun dun dun! How threatening. This boss just makes me sad. Pro tip for anyone who wants to play this, if you stall in this room long enough, you get to skip the next fight, because the narrator gives up. And then the next fight, the robot lets you pass. But, since I'm trying to show all bosses, I gotta kill her, so sorry Trinity. Oh, it's really oh sad. my god! It's really sad. I felt like such a shitbird the first time I did that. I still feel like a shitbird. But if I ever want to fight Dahal, I have to kill her. That's so sad! Dahar! This guy is all so Probably harder than Judas. Also, if I recall correctly, you actually fight him during the tutorial for the pop deck and get wrecked. Come on. Ah, fuck. The only one, again, no healing. The no healing boss fights are the worst. Because when they have other little potatoes with them that you can take out, it's a lot easier. Because you can get more health. Nope. There we go, there we go. Sorry, I'm not saying anything with this one. These ones, you gotta focus or die. I don't wanna die. You're gonna die. I'm probably gonna die, you're probably right. Which means I'll have to kill Trinity. Oh, not again. I can't even imagine hard mode. This is max difficult. This is me maxed out on normal. So like... Hard mode. Like, I still die, even with all my stats back. And having played the whole game through multiple times. Hard mode must be pretty lit. No, no. No, 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 don't do that. I'm doing it. Oh, there we go, got him. Rip. Oh. What thing? Unnecessary finisher. And now we get to Judas. The big, bad, giant, evil potato with five health bars. It's gonna be fun. Done. Crazy giant body horror spider thing. The entire game, the narrator's like, you gotta go kill Judas. And if you actually listen to him, this is where you end up. This boss fight. The last one. With the most excessive health bar and more fucking lasers. We didn't have enough of those earlier. 
The reason why I would say Judas is easier than like the Hall or Jack in some cases even is because he has a shit ton of lackeys that you can kill and get health points. Also, his attacks are very, lend themselves very well to dodging and then getting a free hit in. By the time you get to him, you'll probably learn this. That's confusing as it may look to watch. Honestly, all the actual tips about IC are basically at Logan. He's probably the only person watching who would actually get the game. If he's even watching. Logan, are you watching? No. Probs not. Come on. Okay, gotta keep my health up. So only concerning this one. There we go. There we go, full health. Lit. Now. 18. Oh, he jumped. Oh, the lightning. I'm not a fan of this. I'm not a fan of the lightning. Ow. Nice. Ow. You're just really fucked you up. Oh god. I thought I died for a second. I was like, no, I'm so close. Lit. Just kill him. There we go. I like how the little shoes man was just still going even as I'm doing the finisher. Flicker, flicker, fall. Dead. And that's how you beat Icy, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed. Judas is finally dead. Lit.